Okay, guys. And next, we look at effective teamwork characteristic. Okay, for the first one, group cohesion is a social process that characterizes group whose members interact with each other and refers to the force that push group members closer together. A lot of work those days is accomplished in groups. Most people have had both good and bad experiences from participating in such group work. One important element that influences one's group work experience is cohesion. Cohesion has two dimensions. This means emotional and task related. And next, communication. Communication is important within work to clearly define the team purpose so that this is a common goal having a common goal will increase cohesion because all members are striving for the same objective and will help each other achieve that goal. Next, commitment. Commitment is the level of enthusiasm our employees have towards his or her task assigned at work. It is a feeling of responsibility that the people have towards the goals, mission, and vision of organization. This means the commitment with organization. Next, accountability. Accountability is about acknowledging what is one the line for the team and using is to motivate employees to achieve their goals. It is a simple but very effective approach to avoid mistake and to improve overall performance and productivity. Next topics, theory, motivation, productivity, and effectiveness. How satisfy and workers with the spirit of teamwork. Teamwork affects on firm value. Firm can face unexpected crisis. Okay, next, we talk about theory. Okay, for the first one, Bruce Tuckman's model of team stairs. Bruce Tuckman, an American physiologist, has studied group dynamics. He summarized the development of a team into tax stairs of group development model, which explains that in order to build in a strong bond of a team, you go through four steps. First, forming. Next, storming. Norming. Performing. However, if you want to improve your team's work more efficiently, it must begin with the development of the four elements of teamwork. There are interpersonal relationship, procedure, role, and goals. And the next one, Belbin's theory of team role. Belbin team roles is Meredith Belbin's idea of the role of team many, uh, members to create the most effective teams. Belbin has the idea that a good team must have both competencies called team roles. Team roles. In the team, by Belbin team roles, have nine roles required for the team are resource, investigator, team worker, coordinator, pant, monitor, evaluator, specialist, shaver, implementer, and computer finisher. These nine roles have different strengths and weaknesses. Pant is a role responsible for creating new things with out of the box thinking. Next, monitor evaluator is the role of logical thinking process. Next, specialist is a person with deep or so-called specialized knowledge 
which is an important part of the team, because whatever the job, someone with specific knowledge or weakness that could arise from the law of specialists. Um, about specialists like me, like professor, we know deep knowledge in only perspective. The next one, the resource investigator is a curious, new-looking person trying to figure out a new way to use it. Team worker is a team player who listens to everyone's opinions, tries to make everyone work together as a team, and as a role to avoid team conflict. A weakness of this role is that by being basically popular, the role of team workers sometimes tries to avoid problems. Next, coordinator. Coordinator is a role that coordinates within a team by assigning the right team members, making it a very clear target to do. Shaver. Shaver is the role that keeps the team moving toward the goal without losing focus on their weak parts of this role, which is sometimes too emotional because he wants the job done. And next, implementer. Implementer wants to is to be who turns the idea into a reality plan to make the idea a reality. Next, complete finisher. Two, a detailed role of looking for mistakes to make the most perfect job based on who's looking for mistakes could in many cases become a liability. Next, mass role hierarchy of need theory. About Maslow's hierarchy of need theory, there are five levels of Maslow hierarchy. Uh, for the first one, physiological needs. Next, safety needs. Next, belonging and love needs. The first one, esteem needs. And the last one, self-actualization. Okay, stem on my low conception that is human being has a need to satisfy his or her own needs. Um, there are many human needs, right? Which must first be satisfied with the basic or lowest requirements. It will pass up to the advanced requirement respectively. It is divided into five levels as follows. This. Okay, for the first one, physiological needs refer to the basic needs of the body which are necessary for life. Next level, that means safety needs, refer to the needs for security, both physically and mentally. The third one, belonging and love needs. When success, physiological safety, we need love by others and want to have a good relationship with other people. And the first one, esteem needs, refer to the needs to view oneself as being of high value. A person who is respected by both himself and others or have self-esteem, which is a need to gain respect and status from society. And the last level, this means self-actualization, um, refers to the need to know and understand oneself as they really are, to improve one's life, to the full, it is the highest demand of the individual. Okay, guys. Um, about motivation and effectiveness inspired by teamwork. Teamwork is 
essential is everyone organization teamwork is essential for increasing the efficiency and effectiveness for work management the team plays an important role in our success of any work that require good collaboration of our work or members in order to start working as a team, it should take some time for the meeting to agree on the team's goal, um, what the team wants and who should play what role, the kind of direction and goal will the work be in. You should also define how often you will meet together and how to communicate with each other, talk to each other, and do you want work to be perfect? All team members might be involved in the work, then create a supportive environment to make everyone feel comfortable doing this job. The work will be effective. The separation of duties is also important because different personalities will make each other have different skills too. For example, some people are not suitable to be leaders, but he is great at supporting others because is one person that can be very slow teamwork should therefore balance as much of the team as possible. And the next one, how satisfy our workers with the spirit of teamwork within the company? First, build good relationships within the organization. Next, give feedback to employees by giving rewards. Next, create a working atmosphere for employees to challenge new things. Next, reduce routine work and have work-life balance. Okay, guys, please look at the first one for, for build good relationships within the organization. Employee relations inside an organization is one of the important factors that motivates workers. If the relationship in the middle of a laboral are not good, it may result in a reduction in the motivation of the employees in order to build a positive relationship within the organization. It is important to create a positive atmosphere that encourage communication within the organization, right? And the next one, give feedback to employees by giving rewards. One of the way employees show their willingness to work is how well they work achieve goals we should be rewarded. If it is a cell or development work where the result of the work will be displayed as a number already, the company can refer to above information to reward employees. But if it is an administrative job or human resource department that the result of most of the work are not expressed as numbers. What should we do? In such case, special reward are to give in the personnel who have done well job, either as measured by the half year performance or from the work improvement, for example, which is increased employee incentives. The next one, create a working atmosphere for employees to challenge new things. About this, to give employees the current to challenge work, try to holding a contest or even that around employees to offer the idea for a new project or an in-house when you're to do business under the same company will enable the company to gather good opinions from employees to expand on doing more business. If the project we had tried to challenge its success, do not forget to evaluate in order to 
rewards special employees who have presented the idea, but if it fails, don't just summarize the results, but you should see how we can bring that failure and adjust it to be able to work effectively in the future. By doing this, company or state can create an atmosphere that makes employees or people less afraid and challenge new things, in addition to get a variety of ideas and can be put into action should have a team organized for new people, which people which experience to show ideas together because sometimes that one new group or people may have ideas that are difficult to implement. Including experienced people into the team will make it easier to challenge new things.